Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. David. Mm-hmm. Yes, dear? You awake? I have the impression that I am. Oh, were you asleep? It's not time to get up yet. What's the matter? Nothing. I was just wondering if you knew what day it was. Monday. Oh, it's come to that. Just Monday. It isn't an anniversary of our marriage. There are other anniversaries than marriage anniversaries. Your birthday isn't until December. And I'm not talking about my birthday. Oh, I know. What? We met just four months, four days, four hours, and 44 minutes ago to the dot. <laughs> that isn't funny. Now I won't tell you. <laughs> please, Mama, please. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> tell me or I'll come over and tickle you. <laughs> stop, 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 David. Stop it. Don't. I'm ticklish. Well, what anniversary is it? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. We moved into this apartment just a week ago today. Oh, my darling, what a brute I was to forget. <laughs> Can you ever forgive me? I'll think it over. And it wasn't a week ago today. It will be a week ago tomorrow. Well, practically a week. Do you realize we haven't bought a stick of furniture for this place? We have the bedroom, except for the rugs, curtains, a couple of chairs, and some lamps. What more do you want? Well, don't you think we ought to start buying things? Mm-hmm. No hurry. Well, we have got a place to sleep. And the kitchen's furnished so we can eat. But we, we, we might like to have somebody in. Oh, Thanksgiving Day, I didn't notice that lack of furniture stopped you. Hartley and Roger and Mama. Well, we had the trunks and the barrels to sit on and eat off of. Now they're all unpacked and we sent them down to the cellar. Well, then, darling, if the homemaking instinct is staring within you, let's go ahead. Good. How much have we got to spend? As much as we need, I guess. I'd set aside about 2500 <gasps> It's an awful lot. With the price of things today, it probably won't be enough. I'll knock off this afternoon and we'll shop together. Oh, you sound so masterly. Oh, darling, you even kiss good morning in a very masterly way. I've never been to an auction. I've always wanted to go to one. The way you say that makes me wish I'd never brought the matter up. Why? I don't like the look in your eye. Something tells me you've got the auction bug before we ever start. <laughs> David, this is wonderful. What's wonderful? The auction sale. It hasn't begun yet. What do you do? Do you just call out the price you want to pay for something? Say, there's an awful lot of men in the audience. They all look like they could be your... Uncles or something. They're antique dealers, most of them. Oh. Buying things the same as us? We're not going to buy anything. We're just going to watch. The day that you said we were going to buy our furniture today. We're just going to get ready to buy it. Oh. We haven't examined any of the things they're going to sell. You have to look at them beforehand. But you, you, you can see them when they're put up on the platform, can't you? Not enough. But, David, if dealers come to auction sales to buy things, and then you buy them later from the dealer in a store... You pay just that much more, don't you? Mm, theoretically, yes. Then why doesn't everyone buy their things at auction? Because... Uh, because mm, why? Because, like most theories, it only works that way in theory. Darling, read your catalog like a good girl. It's a lovely big catalog to get for nothing. Pictures and everything. Say, how can they afford to give them away free? They afford it. Don't worry. Hey, listen to what this says, David. Furnishing the famous Long Island house to close estate. Mm -hmm. David, look at the picture of this sofa. Now, look, that's what I call a sofa. Which number is it? Um, 32. 32, 32, 30. Here it is. Genuine Sheraton sofa with original needlepoint. Hmm. You've got good taste, darling. Wouldn't it be lovely in our living room? Yes, very lovely. It's just what I had in mind. So you don't object to it being second-hand, do you? It isn't second-hand. It happens to be a collector's piece. It's an original. And that's good? Mm, yes, darling. Very good. Shh, shh, shh. The sale's beginning. 
Remember, we're not going to buy anything. Mm. We're just looking around this afternoon. Mm -hmm. On behalf of the estate of R.E. Emerson, the entire contents and furnishings of a famous Long Island mansion will be put up for sale to the highest bidder. Look what they're putting up on the platform, All a right, checker set. Where they, right do they up sell up toys, too? That isn't a toy. That's it. Put it right up there on the table. Checkers is a toy. And it isn't checkers, it's chess. Practically the same. First item to sale today is this beautiful hand-carved ivory chess set, a rare item. Do I hear a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars. Do I hear fifty? Twenty-five. Do I hear ten? Three. Three dollars I'm dead. I have three dollars. Three dollars. Do I hear five? Ladies and gentlemen, is it possible I bid only three dollars for this rare and beautiful late 18th century ivory chess set, elaborately hand-carved and in perfect condition? I can hardly believe my ears. Five. But, David, five you don't need a chess set. Five dollars I am bid. Five. Five dollars I am bid. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a crime. He's right. It's five giving it away. Five. Six. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty I am bid. I am bid. David, don't be silly. You don't play chess. I was on the chess team at college. Darling, you're out of college now, and we need chairs to sit on and, and tables to eat from. One table will do. I can only eat from one table at a time. We need tables to put things on. Such as we haven't got any things to put on any of the tables we haven't got yet. Uh, ten dollars. Ten dollars, I'm big. Twelve fifty. I have twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Does the gentleman say fifteen? Fifteen. The gentleman 15 wasn't going to buy anything, but 15, the gentleman said fifteen. But Claudia, just wait. David, who are you going to play with? I'll teach you, heaven help me. Sixteen. I have sixteen, ladies and gentlemen. I bid sixteen dollars for this handsome chess set. Seventeen fifty. Seventeen. I bid up seventeen fifty from the gentleman. Nineteen dollars. Twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty. You could have been nineteen fifty. And the bidder against me would have kept going up. I wanted to stop him. You see, there's a system to it. Going once, going twice, so the gentleman in the red. I've got it. I've got it. It's a steal. It's worth five times that much. That's good. David, look, is it stunning? Uh, Norton. Uh, what did you say, David? What they're bringing in now. Look, look, isn't that stunning? What is it? Uh, Sheffield Punch Bowl, 1820. I don't know what we'd do without a punch bowl. I have a bid of ten dollars for this eighteen twenty Sheffield punch bowl. Ten dollars, ten dollars. Do I hear fifteen? Do I hear fifteen? Oh, come now, friends, you can't fail to take advantage of this rare bargain. Huh? Just look at David, it's beautiful. I want it. What for? I have it. I can't bear it. We've got two soup tureens from Aunt Louisa. Remember, if you have a punch bowl, you have to have a table. We we'll use your chess table when you're not playing chess. Now that is hitting under the belt. Fifteen going to the gentleman on the side at fifteen, going once, going twice. Twenty-two fifty. Twenty-two fifty to the young lady. Twenty-two fifty going once. Going twice, so... But, ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful piece of furniture. Just look at that. One of the finest pieces in the collection. One of the finest pieces we've offered in many years, and I have auctioned many, many objects art. Uh, over the years. Now, who will give me a bid of 15 for this lovely Sheraton sofa? <gasps> David, that's our sofa. 15. It's gentlemen. even more beautiful than 15, in the picture. 15, 15. Mm, pretty nice. Do a I hear shabby, 15? shabby, though, don't you think? 15. Come now, ladies and gentlemen. Surely that isn't asking too much for this truly valuable piece. 15. I have 15. And now I have 15, 50, 15, 50. Do I have 16? David, that's do I have cheap. 16? Because it's so oh, shabby, 16. I guess. I have 16! Don't shush me, it's 16. nothing! I have 16. 16, 16. Now I have 17. Who'll make it 18 for this rare and priceless old piece? David, in the sofa we were thinking of was $400, and it was all oh, 18. I have 18 bid, 18 bid. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a crime. There's no price for this beautiful old piece. Ladies and gentlemen, the needlework alone is worth more. David, he's right. 1850. 1850. I'm bid 1850. Do I hear 19? 19. I have 19. 1950 on the side. 22.50. Claudia. 22.50. I have 22.50. The little lady in the rear has good taste. She knows a bargain when she sees one. 22.50 for this rare collector's piece. 22.50 going once, going twice. Are you done? So. 
believe it. It's mine. I got it. David, say something. For heaven's sakes, don't just stand there staring at me like that. Say something. I... I can't. But you love it, don't you? You said it was beautiful, didn't you? Now you have number 33, a pair of valuable Chippendale checks. Now, what am I looking for this beautiful... Let, l- let's get out of here. Uh, excuse me. What's excuse wrong? Me. Hey, wait for me. I need air. I'm going out in the hall. David, you're positively white. Don't you feel well? Oh, sure. I, I feel fine. Fine. Well, you don't look fine. You look sick. Uh, listen to me, darling. Do you love that sofa? Of course. Don't you? Yes, I love it. I don't even want to change that old covering. I think it's beautiful, from a distance at least. It better be beautiful close up too, darling. Say, David, why do you act so funny? Me? (laughs) Acting funny? Yes, you acting funny. Look, darling, which would you rather do? Own one beautiful, lovely thing or dozens of mediocre, ugly things? One beautiful, lovely thing, of course. Well, that's good. Come on back to the cashier's desk, and I'll make out a check for the sofa. And twenty-two fifty for the chess set. And twenty-two fifty for the punch bowl. Say, twenty-two fifty's our lucky number today. Yes, darling. Twenty-two fifty's our lucky number. Oh, lady, uh, just a moment, lady. That man's calling us, David. What's he want, do you think? I'm past thinking. I just want to get out of uh, here. Excuse me, but uh, you're the lady that just bought the Sheraton sofa for twenty-two fifty. You wouldn't consider selling it, would you? Why should I, for goodness sake? Uh, Claudia, wait a minute. But, David, I don't want to sell it. Where could we get another one at the same price? Well, there ain't no harm in asking. thought maybe you'd want to make a little profit on it. I'd be willing to give you twenty-five for it. But if you wanted it, why didn't you bid on it? Uh... Well, frankly, lady, I did bid on it. I got a client asked me to get it for her, and I know she's going to hate to lose it. I bet she is. Uh, To be honest with you, the way you bid, lady, scared me off. It sort of takes courage to jump a bid like you did. I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't consider letting me have it for, say, $2,600, would you? No, I love that sofa. I would... What did you say? $2,600 what? $2,600, Claudia. The gentleman is asking you to sell the sofa that you just bought for $2,250 for $2,600. David, what have I done? It's what are you going to do? I think... I think I'm going to faint. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. Your day's work is done and you slide comfortably into your favorite armchair. The music is soft and pleasant. What more could you ask? Just one thing. An ice-cold Coca-Cola for the pause that refreshes. Now that more Coke is available, you might as well buy it by the case. Then there'll always be plenty in the refrigerator for hospitality as well as family refreshment. Suppose you ask your grocer or service station attendant to put a case in your car tomorrow. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember... Whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes.